understand what you, the nuts and bolts of what you really need to do. All right, so if you haven't figured out the pattern yet, basically what we're going to do is go through what are the, the nerve tissues of the joint that we're talking about. In this case, we're talking about the elbow. All right, so first we'll start with what are the bones that are involved. So, do you have any ideas what bones we're talking about for the elbow? Okay, yeah, pretty simple. Okay, so then if we go from there, we go to the nerve tissues. What kind of nerve tissues are going to be involved that are holding the shoulder, the joint together? What's that? Ligaments. Yeah, ligaments. So, where do you think good places to be for ligaments to be to hold it together would be? Okay. Maybe one on the medial side, one on the lateral side. Yeah. What about this radial head? I think there should be something there. And your ligaments to kind of hold that one strapped in. Okay. I mean, that's the gist of it, really. There might be a couple other ones, but that's the main thing. All right. So then. What kinds of range of motions are we talking about in the shoulder? I mean, in the elbow. Okay. I didn't need the big sword this time, so I brought the little sword here, right? So we got what? Okay. That's it. There's not too much range of motion in the elbow. All right, then. Technically, at this area here, so now let's talk about the joints, the actual articulation where you know, this bone articulates with that bone. So what, divided into more specifically what kind of joints do we have in this area here? Okay, we have... Humorous, how many different articulation surfaces do we have on there? Two. 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 <laughs> so that's because there's how many bones in the forearm? Two. Two. Okay, so we have the what would we call this joint? Mm -hmm. Humor. All no humoral. Okay? And then this would be what? Okay. So then what motions occur at the ulnar humeral joint? Yeah. And then the same thing at this one joint here. And then what's the other joint that's involved in the elbow complex? The radial ulnar joint. Yeah. More specifically because what, what would we call this joint? Radial ulnar joint. So then how do you give it a name so that you're going to tell the difference? What's that? It's not proximal. Yeah. So this is proximal, this is distal, and then in this case here, like in some of the other areas, like in the shoulder we talked about, there's a functional joint, where it's not really a true joint, but it's a functional joint, and then that's the middle radio ulnar joint. And then that's down on the bottom here, the interosseous membrane. Okay? So that's what that is, the interosseous membrane is the membrane that connects the two bones. All right, so now, when we talk about close pack and loose pack, we're talking about two joints here in the elbow. Well, I mean, we're not, re we're not really going to talk about the radial ulnar, but we're talking about the ulnar humeral and the radial humeral. Okay, right, so for the ulnar humeral, the loose pack is going to be 70 degrees of flexion. So again, it's kind of like we talked about with the shoulder. I mean, here's your, your sort of like resting position of your shoulder and elbow. So here, this is zero degrees flexion, this is 90. So about there, 70 degrees, okay? And then as far as with pronation and supination, it's uh, 10 degrees of supination. So about like that. So you figured, you know, that's your, kind of your typical resting position for your arm from the shoulder into the elbow. So this, for the radial ulnar joint, that's a loose pack position. And then close pack is going to be extension. And then for the radio humeral, it's going to be full extension and full supination for loose pack. 
And then the close pack is the elbow flex to 90, and then the forearm supinated about five degrees. But the, really the more important one is the radial, I mean, is the humeral ulnar joint. That's really the main joint of the elbow, right? So the loose pack position for the elbow is going to be about like this. And when you do some of the, your tests, like if you're going to do passive joint motion or ligament tests, you're going to be in that position, unless you're specifically getting into the radial humeral joint. Okay. All right, so then contractile tissues of the elbow. Okay. Basically, you have four different groups, right? You have elbow flexors on this, in this area, and then what would be back here? Elbow what? Stensors. Okay, so then at the, then you're going to have muscles that act on the wrist. So you're going to have what? Okay, so the, all the extensors have a common, pretty much have a common origin, right? And that's what, what we call this area. Okay, then what do we call this here? And then what are the common origin of those? Or what muscles? Okay. All right, so now what else do we need to know about the shoulder? Okay. Elbow. I'm oh, sorry, I keep, I'm on last week, I guess. <laughs> Elbow. Okay. So, I'll give you a hint. What's next on the list here? Neuro. All right, was there much neuro stuff that we talked about in the shoulder? Not really as far as nerves that went through certain passages. Is, is there, are there passages in the elbow that we're looking at? Yeah. Everybody know what those are? Yeah. Okay, so what nerve goes through there? Ulnar mm -hmm. nerve. Mm -hmm. That goes through here. And then what's the other nerve that we're talking about in the elbow? Mm -hmm. so median nerve, yeah. And where does that, where's the point that we got to look at that? Is there a certain muscle that it goes through? Yeah, the pronator teres. Okay. So then that's going to give you distribution. What's the dis sensory distribution of the median nerve in the hand? Do you remember? Yeah. Technically, it's the anterior part or the palmar surface of the thumb, first finger, uh, I mean, second, you know, index finger, ring finger, or I mean, middle finger, and then the, med the lateral part which this being lateral of the ring finger. So it's like right here. You know, not everybody's going to have that exact distribution, but so primarily it's going to be this part of the first couple fingers here on the palmar surface, right? And then the, what, what's back here? What other nerve? If this is median, this is ulnar, what's left? Yeah. So radius is going to be back here. Not really going to talk too much about the radial nerve in the elbow. 